Hey people, Flying Soul still alive now from Nov Novosibirsk. Unfortunately, something went wrong with the camera when I was in Krasnoyarsk, so I I have to record now the voiceover. So a little bit about this uh, small trip. I've been there for a couple of days, just for a weekend, and uh, use the excuse of uh, the university uh, to visit this city that I wanted to visit a long time ago. Krasnoyarsk is a thousand kilometers uh, on the east of Novosibirsk and uh, so it's pretty Siberian like exactly like Novosibirsk but a little bit older here now I'm walking with my buddy's girlfriend we are going to uh, we are going to a spot which is uh, one of the best spot to, to visit the, to see the city uh, and the landscape with the mountains uh, because um, you have to know that Krasnoyarsk is placed in a valley between two hills and I say some mountains too. I mean, but they are not that high. And from this hill, you can uh, you can visit. The, you have one of the best spots to see the whole city with the mountains in the, um, on the background. <clears throat> there is a chapel on the top of this hill. Now I don't remember the name uh, really. I'm sorry, but it's easy to find in Wikipedia. So that's basically all. Unfortunately, some parts of the video will be without without uh, comments. If you even if you see me talking, because uh, I will have to record the voiceover. I don't know what went what went wrong, as I told you. But anyway, I hope you will enjoy. And if you were wondering why I was walking with my buddy's girlfriend, but not with my buddy, it's just because my buddy was working actually there for the university. So at the time we were going around the city, he he was busy with work. But we we met in the evening. So over there in the background you can see the um, tracks where the competition will take place uh, for the university, the winter university and that was a surprise for us to not see snow at all as you can see it's like now uh, uh, it's spring but for example here in Novosibirsk is full of snow and ice everywhere but there it's completely clean and I've been told that's basically because of the wind. It's quite a windy city, Krasnoyarsk but uh, also, of course, is, um, especially in the city, it was clean because of the university. So there is no snow at all uh, in the city. Just that we saw it a little big in the central park. So the snow that you can see on the mountains probably was, tam it was um, shouted in some way because there is no, there is no snow uh, anywhere. This cannon that you can see over there um, shout every day at 12 just to let to know the citizen of the of Krasnoyarsk that it is noon. And we are uh, approaching the University Village, which is a place uh, where there are different exhibitions uh, connected to, of course, the city and the Siberian culture. Is a place uh, in uh, an island which is in the middle of the river Yenisei that flows that flows in the middle of the city, and because Krasnoyarsk was built around this uh, this river, so there is uh, this island which is there are a lot of different uh, exhibitions that I will show you later.
So people, I decided to come here. Well, I met on the train a wonderful family, actually this family here. And they, and they gave me tickets for free because some of their friends didn't come. And well, so I had occasion to, to watch one event tonight with them. We occasionally I met them here because we didn't know that we'd uh, would see each other. But anyway, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that I can have that I have such such possibility because I didn't plan to. But it was nice. So I'm gonna watch a hockey game. A hockey game tonight is gonna play Switzerland against Kazakhstan. So I'm gonna show you some some part of the game later. Okay, just stay on. actually it's supposed to be cloudy too but it's not there is a lot of sun and windy as usual so just because I woke up early as usually yeah, I can't sleep in the morning uh, in the morning I just have this problem I wanted to, to visit uh, I wanted to try to visit this Stalby National Park but I realized that it's closed today so I mean I could risk to go there but, but, but I would uh, wouldn't be like really worth two so me and my buddy's girlfriend decided to visit uh, another museum nearby which is here on the on the embankment have to walk like 20 minutes more or less from my hotel and uh, and later I don't know probably I will show you something in the in the city center because yesterday there was no no choice to to do that we we're around around in other places so stay tuned see you later okay so here we are this is the Revolution Square. As you might see, there is the Godfather Lenin over there. As usual, when you are in the center of the city. Behind us, there is the Central Park. We just came uh, from uh, the embankment. There is like Krasnoyarsk 2019 for the University Aid. And uh, hmm? Ah, there is the library over there. So we, we walk by a little bit around around the city, and uh, there is not, not nothing really special here. I mean, now I'm going. Maybe I will try to to shot for you some old architecture, wooden architecture could be interesting. But that's basically all. Ah, one thing that I wanted to say is that not so long time ago, some a few years ago. The administration decided to make all the center with the streets of a one way. So all the streets here are one way. You cannot go in both ways on the same street. So this one is uh, Prospect Karla Marx, and on the other side there is Lenina, and they go just in two opposite ways. That's basically how it works now. So we are now in the Yerzhinskova 
street, which is uh, the pedestrian street of uh, Krasnoyarsk. We have a deer over there who is walking happily on the street. It starts from there, from uh, Prospect Karla Marxa, and goes to Lenina Street, which is on the other side. So we are now in um, Lenina Street and here are the type of building that I was talking about the oldest building here in Krasnoyarsk and I like especially as you already know it's wooden houses it, that for me they look particular because I we don't have such architecture in Italy Over there, there is the Krasnoyarsk Big Bang. 